That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. The Steelers' defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. It's caught by Matthews. It'll be third down. From the gun. Looking to go deep. Almost intercepted that time. Good job that time by the defense on third down. Find a way to get off the field. The defender found the way. Knocked that pass down. The Bengals believe they can pick up the first in this short yardage situation and keep the offense on the field. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. The Bengals turn the ball over on down. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stopped before a short game. The Steelers bringing their offense onto the field. It wasn't a very productive possession for them last time out, partner. They ended up punting. Well, you know what it was? It was a good feeling out process. So they got some knowledge by watching the defense and what defenses they tied on them. So you've got to take advantage of that knowledge and come out here and make some plays. Inside the 30 at the 29. Here they come back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. After running it, it's second down. They're going to the hurry. Them down. The Steelers moving inside the 20 and the red zone last week. They just feasted on that part of the field. First down at the 19. Colby, touchdown. Steelers put six on the board. Fleener's second touchdown of the game. The Steelers getting set now for the point after. And the extra point is good. The Bengals are ready to return the kick. That's a touchback. The ball will be spotted at the 20. The Bengals take the field here. Their last possession ended with a very crazy decision going for it on fourth down from their own territory. Uh, an unusual decision, to say the least. I don't know if it's unusual. We see this all the time from this guy. So it's 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 when you're going to learn. You know, I guess when you pile up enough losses, you'll finally say, hey, I want to win a game. I'm going to manage it differently. And in those situations, you should win. Alvin Bud Dupree gets to the quarterback. Got to give the defense a lot of credit here. You want to stop the offense from scoring here with under two minutes to go in the first half. Good pressure on the quarterback, and they take him down behind the line of scrimmage. A long field ahead of him at the 10. Quarters formation here for the defense. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Well, when you get in situations like this, third long, you got to be smart on the offensive side. Yeah, I know you want to pick up the first down, but don't force it because if you do, it'll probably lead to a turnover. Handoff made. The tackle is made, and that's a three and out series for the offense. We'll take a break for halftime and be back to Pittsburgh for the start of the third quarter. The second half of this lopsided affair is underway. Miller's going to test the coverage this time. He's brought down. That return's good for about 23. The Steelers come out to open up the second half, and they were hitting on all cylinders in the first half, Phil. Yeah, be smart here in the second half, Jim. When you start out, just find out what the defense is thinking, and once you get a, a feeling about what they're going to do, then you start taking some chances. Last one. 
And here we go, the first snap of the second half. Kobe Fleener comes up with the grab. That's his fourth catch of the day. The Steelers have been able to count on their tight end today. Fleener's been a dynamic playmaker throughout this game, Phil. We are seeing tight ends become such a big part of NFL offenses. There's so much you can do with them. Line them up on the line of scrimmage. You can move them all around. You can stack them behind other offensive players. What a day by the tight end today. Antonio Brown with the catch. That little throw was good for only three. So it's now second down and seven. Time for the hurry up offense. Now he's going to change the play and look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. And he's tackled, but not until he picked up the first down. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Bell's going to take the handoff now. And he is tackled at the 44. Bell's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back. When there's nowhere to go, hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Bell's going to secure the handoff. Brought down at the 44. down the Bengals defense brings in an extra member of the secondary they'll go nickel he'll stand back beyond the center in the gun it's on target to Martavis Bryant good job by the defense staying in the right spots they give up the short pass they make the tackle and now we have fourth down coming up all set to punt here That punt sets up the defense now in excellent position as they're able to down the football inside the 10. The Bengals offense trots out onto the field looking to get into the end zone and see if they can turn the tide in this one, partner. Well, the fact that they are losing this game so far, the sense of urgency is there on the offensive side. You know, you have many plays in that playbook. I think they need to try a few different ones here in the second half. Pass is intercepted. Jim, this defense is just attacking today. They got the offense backed up. They go after them. They're aggressive. And what does it do for them? It gets them an interception inside the opponent's 20-yard line. First down on the way. Toss to the outside. Breaks the plane, and it's a touchdown. Bill, we're midway through the third quarter, and there is no letting up. Man, this is a lot of a good thing. That's what they're doing on both sides of the ball. The offense scoring points, the defense dominating play. They are just having a good old time out there. The Steelers ready to kick it away. And he'll start his return. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. The Bengals are set to take the field again on offense after a crazy sequence that didn't go their way. That turnover led to turnover points. And now let's see if the offense can get that back, Phil. Yeah, listen, I know they're going to be motivated because after they turned the football over last time, the coaches took them to the sideline and just gave them heck. That's for sure. That's a good way of seeing it. So motivation, can't make those kind of mistakes. You've got to go out there and be much better.
Let's go. Fire in the air. Fire in the air. Second and ten. Green had it, but couldn't hold on as this goes incomplete. So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. Let's go. Third down and ten. Got a flag down here. We still have more than a quarter to play here, Phil, but this defense shows no signs of wearing down. I think we're surprised by this, really. We didn't expect them to just dominate all day long, and so far, it has been total domination. The Bengals take it from the 33. Hills taken down at the 33. Second down. The Steelers with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Let's go. Looks but can't connect on the short throw. Well, I think it's important for the defense anytime it's a third long situation for the offense to know where those first down markers are, give a little ground, and make sure you're able to come up and make the tackle short of the first down marker. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Let's go. Third and ten. Now on the move. Intercepted. He's brought to a halt. There have been many mistakes for this offensive unit through the first three quarters, and now they add an interception to the list. Yeah, you make all these mistakes during a football game, you're going to lose confidence, and that's what we see right now on the offensive side. No confidence. Go back to the basics. Start all over again. That's the best thing you can do. First down at the 43. He's hit as he throws it. The line of scrimmage, the 43 yard line. Roethlisberger set in the pistol. Midway into the third. Martavis Bryant makes the catch. That's a good job by the receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. Roethlisberger's completion percentage, 60% on the day. No time to huddle now. The catch by Bell. Games 18. All right, coaches, don't get greedy. Be decisive over there on the sideline. Do what's best for your football team. Keep getting those first downs and letting that clock just keep running. You got a big lead here in the second half. Don't take any chances. The Bengals will come out in the dime. Miller's taking the handoff. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Three-step drop and incomplete. What a hit that time. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. 